uh, this is a quick tutorial on how to um, you can change the color of an object you can use the color to um, actually make a selection alright so but first I'm gonna do one quick thing since this object is pretty much okay I grabbed this off of REI's website and just to use that as an example later but um, this one is it's it's very simple I can take this object and I can go to what is it adjustments hue and saturation and let's bring this over and I can change the color of this shoe just by dragging this left and right okay okay um the reason I don't know if you can if you pay attention to this white area notice the color cast is changing ever so slightly okay but you can get away with this on something like this because again there's color and then there's black and white but if you try that on I just hit cancel but if you try that on something like this um, adjust image adjustments hue saturation you you can't get away with it because see I have the yellow jacket I'm changing the color of her jacket to blue but notice the color of her face is changing her face is changing red too so you can't get away with it with this but I'm gonna show you on the shoe just because I like the shoe it's nice and simple um, so it should be a lot easier to work with than something you know with lots of you know the intricacies of this jacket here okay so first all first of all I'm going to go under if I can remember where it's at I need color range and I can selection okay here we go under selection color range alright and I'm gonna drag this in here it, it kinda popped up off screen um it's kinda tight <laughs> alright so what I'm going to do here is you can see I have these little eyedroppers and I'm gonna click in this blue area and you can see it's selected this area here the area that it's the tones that it's selecting are turning white but each time I click in a different part of this blue that actually got a good portion of it it, but it keeps changing because I'm selecting different portions of it so I'm gonna go back here where it selects a lot and then I can hit plus and it's going to build onto that selection adding color different you know these different shades of blue okay but one problem I have say if I slip I hit the white area so now I got all this white area so I can hit the minus key and then you can see the more I click in this white area selecting because again these you it's hard to see here but these are actually a lot of these are different tonal areas so by selecting here it's removing those and then I can go back to the plus and I can actually click and drag rather than clicking and clicking and clicking I can just click and drag over this area so now I have a pretty clean selection of this area alright now once I'm done with that and again I can adjust the fuzziness and you can see it expands to include every, everything or it's very tight alright I'm just gonna add just a little bit of fuzziness here so it, it doesn't expand too far and then I hit OK and you can see it's selected these area I didn't catch all of these areas that's what these little bits and you know little specks are so these are areas that I missed but you probably won't see them but another way I can fix that is say I can go over here to the lasso tool and I want to subtract that area um, no actually I want to add to this area so I'm just gonna click on the lasso tool and add to this area so I'm just gonna draw around these little scraggly bits and then I'll let go and you can see it's adding them to the selection again these bits are so tiny that you probably wouldn't be able to see them but um I'm just making sure that I get them make that I get them clean but I could otherwise other than this I could have spent more time with the the eyedropper tool getting them just right okay so now I'm eh, let's go in here happy with this selection here and I'll just grab that little bit okay so now I'll make sure I don't have any little bits of color in here okay yeah I get that one last one all right so um now from here this is my selection so now if I go to hue and saturation okay so I go to adjustments 
hue and saturation when I make these changes you notice the shoe is changing colors but it's not this area out here is no is no longer being affected so it's not these subtle changes aren't happening out here which is nice um, down here I don't know if you notice like if I slide towards the red okay it's on red here but also down here you can see it's changing the this is sort of like the standard chart and this is actually what's changing this this thing here it's moving along okay so as you can see the red <laughs> okay so I can I can change the shoe here and not make any you know you know it'll be it'll make these changes quite nicely Th one thing is this is destructive you know if I hit I'm gonna hit deselect here if I hit save on here uh, this these pixels are changed forever um, so I want to do this non-destructively I can show you a quick way to do that But first I'm gonna zoom in just so you can see what happened these little bits that I missed that's where what these little blue specks are these little pixels that I missed but you know when you zoomed out you really can't tell but if this was something very specific I might take a little bit more time and zoom in and catch all those little bits if I you know if this was something really important okay so I'm gonna zoom back out alright so another way okay I'm gonna go back to, I'm gonna go to history panel and I'm going to go back to my selection alright another way let me say deselect and let's see uh, select I can go up here to select and hit reselect as well okay so the last selection I can hit reselect and what I'm going to do if I want to change this I'm gonna hit command J and that's gonna duplicate this layer you see over here in the layers panel it it duplicated the selection area so now I have this shoe the the top part of the shoe so if I turn this background layer off you can see I have the top shoe here so now if I go just to this layer I go to uh, da, 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 da. I go to <laughs> image adjustments hue and saturation and now I can change the color of that shoe okay and now I can just turn this on and off you know I so you know like when you look at uh, a website and you'll see these uh, catalogs like here for instance when you see this person in a different jacket and it looks like it's the same photo it is the same photo they just edited the colors so you have your green your red shoe your green shoe if I want to duplicate this layer here duplicate the layer uh, okay it's off the screen but I just hit duplicate okay now edit adjustments or oh, image adjustments hue and saturation I'll make this a blue shoe let's see if I can find blue here we go hang on okay there we go that's the color I'm looking for and then I just hit OK alright um so now I have blue green and red alright so now I'm gonna go back to here and show you the difference I'm gonna go to edit oh and hang on uh, select color range and I'm gonna I'm gonna click on the eyedropper and I'm gonna click in this yellow you can see it picked up a little of this yellow here I'm just gonna click and drag well oh, hang on mistake I'm on just the regular selection I want to go to the um, I want to go to this plus so it will add to the selection it will build on the selection I can just drag across this area here if you notice I'm avoiding the black areas okay but I need to get these shadows and that's kinda dark but I'm just gonna get in here a little I'm not gonna go too dark um, I'm gonna I need to move this over and I need to pick some of this up okay and again I'm gonna avoid these really truly black areas alright so I'm selecting all of these bits and tones of yellow and the shadow and again this is a much more difficult selection to make than the other one but if you notice I'm starting to pick up color in her face so I'm just gonna hit OK and you can see it selected the jacket nicely didn't pick up the um, the um, the black here but it's picked up areas in her face so all I have to do is again use the lasso tool which is I was already selected make sure I hit subtract from selection and I just draw a selection you know right here over her face and it removes that selection from her skin actually and it looks like I missed a little bit here I'm gonna hit oh hang on I'm gonna I need to go up here to add to selection 
and you can see the little plus sign next to the lasso and I select that and I don't see any other areas that I need to change well maybe I'll catch that little bit there okay so now I can zoom out okay and again I'm gonna I want to do this non destructively I can just change the color of the pixels here but I'm just gonna hit command J and I'll duplicate that layer I actually I'm gonna duplicate that layer a couple of times alright so I'm gonna label this one red I'll double click and green enter double click blue enter alright so I'm gonna select I'm gonna turn these off I just click and drag to turn those off and on that little eye there and I'm gonna click on the blue blue layer edit I mean uh, image adjustments hue and saturation and what did I say this one is blue alright so I'm just gonna drag it this way okay and if, if you notice I it, right here it says I'm on red but it's changed that color but you can see here is red you know where I started it started off as yellow but this that's the top is sort of like the the chart the unmoving chart and then it dragged where it moved everything over this bottom is where you are finding what's happening so again it changed yellow to blue yellow to blue so if I move this other way I'm gonna move it to let's say red now you see it was yellow to red or it's sort of a reddish purple you can see okay so I'm gonna put this back because I labeled this blue move this back over and you can see the blue at the bottom very bottom is sliding over to the yellow okay that's a that's a nice blue right there alright I'm gonna hit OK I'm gonna click on green well actually I'm just gonna turn green on green again it's yellow as you can see here in the layers panel and I'm gonna go to edit adjustment I mean image adjustments <laughs> sorry about that uh, hue and saturation and I want to change this yellow to green and you can see from here green is to the left so I'm gonna just drag to the left oh, hang on is it gonna make it no it didn't quite make it if you look down here at the bot well actually I'm saying oh, I apologize I've been talking about this but this has been off the screen the whole time so what I was talking about down here at the very bottom there's these uh, chart this little area right here and this is sort of a stagnant it doesn't move and this bar moves so as you can see if I'm up here I want to change this uh, this kind of purpley right here and I'm gonna drag well actually it started yellow and then you see it's purpley down here so this is yellow and this is purple and I'm gonna in order to get to green I have to push this over here so I'm gonna go to the right hang on wrong it's going wrong there we go it crossed over it's coming back and then I hit hang on green okay um and again if this is too bright I can drop the saturation down get make it a nicer color okay I can brighten it up lighter darker you know okay but I'm just gonna leave that lightness that look that looked fine but the saturation really helps because again it's too intense so I'm gonna drop that saturation of color down alright so that looks good I'll hit OK and then I have this one I need to make red so I'm gonna click on the eye turn it on and you're gonna see a yellow jacket again and now I want to go up to hue saturation uh, image uh, adjustments hue and saturation and I want to make this yellow what did I say this is this is red alright so actually yellow and red are pretty close so I shouldn't have to go far okay here we go so there we go that looks good very intense so I'm gonna drop down the saturation to make it a nice pleasant looking reddish color okay and that's that and again I've done these non-destructively um there are better ways you can do it uh, using the adjustment panel but I'm not gonna get into that in this tutorial we'll save that for another day and that's it bye bye